Dadaab can be found around 100 kilometers from the Somali border in Garissa County. It's therefore close to the town of Garissa, where at least 148 people were killed in a terror attack carried out by Somali militant group Al Shabaab. Three camps make up the dub Aifo, Dagahale, and Hagadera. The camps cover an area of around 50 square kilometers. To put it into perspective, if this were a formal city, it would be Kenya's second largest. Dadaab was set up by the United Nations with the Kenya's permission back in 1991. Thousands of people had been fleeing conflict in Somalia. For 20 years, that war raged, leading to Somalia being declared a failed state. Originally, the camp was meant to host 90,000 people. Currently, it has around 600,000. The UNHCR, Kenyan government and several international organizations manage the dub. They provide food, shelter and health care, but also school. Across the dub, there are 19 primary schools funded by the UNHCR. But because of overcrowding, resources are stretched thin. Built on a floodplain, flooding is also too common, which often leads to disease. Through the years, international organizations have also had to halt many of their non-essential services in the camp. Al-Shabaab has in the past attacked Dadaab and often targets organizations like Red Cross and MSF. Between 2011 and 2012, nearly 20 security incidents were reported. Kenya has raised concerns that the camp houses extremists. Since 2013, there has been an agreement in place for voluntary repatriation back home to Somalia. Up to 100,000 have gone so far, but the process is a slow one and many remain too fearful of returning home. Kenya's latest stance on Dadaab could see its residents have little choice in the matter. Susan Mugeli, CCTV.